Gamakut, last count, Corlog is time, fear, break us and dash, Larit, Aaron Militov, Uktuksha, um, Ronona. Uh, it's uh, my privilege to support this bill on behalf of Sinn Féin this afternoon, last count, Corla, and I want to commend uh, Senator Francis Black for advancing this legislation. Uh, I listened uh, with a sinking heart, Tanish, that to your speech, and I heard you talk about the centre of gravity as it pertains to, to, to policy. I mean, let's, let's assess the centre of gravity and the progress made. Palestinian people, victims of a process of colonisation and an onslaught of building of illegal settlements, land taken, rights denied, people imprisoned through a form of internment know, known as administrative detention, a British law, by the way, which still stands. That uh, includes over 400 children, children maimed, eyes gone, thanks to the Israeli Defence Force aggression, young men jailed, well not men, children actually, at the age of 12, released at the age of 15, a young one, Ahed Tamini, age 16, six months in jail, uh, for standing up to Israeli soldiers. 312 Palestinians, including 53 children, died last year at the hands of the Israeli army. That's the centre of gravity, Tanishta. And you dishonour this country. You dishonour our international standing to take to your feet in this thought and to attempt in any way to overlook, disregard or justify all of that. I think the Irish people, frankly, are prepared to take on the argument at a European Union level. I think public opinion understand that that's a necessary thing. I think people are prepared to take on the complications, the commercial complications that you have set out. What people are not prepared to do, and what you should not be doing, no government worthy of the name should uh, stand over trade with illegal settlements. No government worthy of the name should stand by as the Israeli state comprehensively and brazenly, day in and day out, flouts international law. The Irish government and the Irish state, above all else, should stand for the rule of international law. And that, in the final analysis, is what this legislation is about. So you can give your political, your legal, your diplomatic rationale. You can come up with every excuse under the sun not to support this bill. But you only need one good reason to, and to support it. And let me say this finally, last count, Carla, because I was in Palestine before Christmas. The Palestinian people look to Ireland to lead and to stand in solidarity with them. They want this legislation. I didn't meet one person who was opposed to it. The Palestinian people believe that this is the right move. So let's make that move and let's lead from the front. That is the honourable, that is the Irish thing to do.